Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Kristen Little Bumble Bear. Hello my Scooby-Doo Clue crew, we're back with case number two. It's all about a scary stone dragon, woo! <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts if you're a Scooby-Doo fan and subscribe for more awesome nostalgic content. Check out the playlist in the description bo uh, box down below to see more Scooby-Doo games that are on the channel and I will be adding more soon. I have a Twitter and Instagram you can follow and a streaming channel. All the links are down below and if you use Discord, let me know because I would love for you to join my server as well. Alright, well we've got a mystery to solve, gang. So grab your Scooby snacks and let's get started. Spooktacular! Let's see. You will confront some spooky ghosts in the near future. I think I need another fortune. Mine seems like way too possible. Raggy! Raggy! We won! We won! We won! But like, what did we win? I can't believe we're actually in China. You two sure were lucky to win this trip. Luck? Like it was all skill. Who else could have eaten 57 orders of chow mein? Hmm, maybe I should have worn my red dress. You have a red dress? This is gonna be too cool. Not only did we make it for the Chinese New Year, but we're also here for the opening of Emperor Chu's underground palace. Palace good, underground, not so good. Uh-uh. You guys will love it. It's actually an ancient tomb filled with twisting maze-like passages so the emperor could hide out there. Ancient maze-like tomb? Sure, what's not to love? I heard it's where Emperor Zhu was buried with all his treasures. Sounds exciting to me. The palace was recently discovered when they were building a road through the area. There's a rumor of an ancient curse for anyone who disturbs the buried emperor. But seriously, what are the odds of that? Judging from our history, like way too good. Hey, Scoob. Like check out old Tooth Filled and Terrible here. <laughs> Go get the camera so I can get my picture with him. Okay. Phew. Sure is hot around here. Oh no! A stone dragon? This must be the Emperor's curse, Velma. There has to be a logical explanation for this. Well, gang. It looks like we have another mystery to solve. Well, I think we need to start looking for clues. Clues? The only mystery my stomach wants to solve is the case of the missing Scooby Snacks. Well, well, Scooby Snacks. Run, run. Like, no way are we exploring this creepy place. We're staying right here. Yeah. Would you change your mind for three Scooby Snacks? <laughs> like, you betcha. Scooby Snacks. Uh huh. Like, there's not enough Scooby Snacks in the box. Sculptures with animals appear in Chinese culture more than 3,000 years ago. <laughs> like, forget it. We're not going over there. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? I think we have one left. Main courtyard. This is our Mystery Ink casebook. Let's take a closer look. Look for firecrackers to find clues. Oh man, there goes our motivation. We'd better go get those Scooby Snacks.
Like a stone dragon. <laughs> Looks like Scooby just discovered a secret network of passageways between the doors. Tell you what, Scooby-Doo. I'll stay here and you see if you can pick up all those Scooby snacks we dropped. Okay. Just watch out for the stone dragon. Scooby, it looks like the doors with the same picture on them are linked. If you go in one, you'll come out the other. Nice job, Scooby. You got four Scooby snacks. Good work, old buddy, old pal. Great work, Scooby. These shops sure look deserted. Did somebody say dessert? Dessert? Oh boy. Sorry, guys. It doesn't look like you're going to find any food around here. Or maybe. Normally, Chinese marketplaces are bustling hives of activity. Right now, I think the stone dragon has scared everyone away. Hmm. Smells of food and cooking. Hey! Smells of food and cooking. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Follow this clue to find a printable activity. Statue's tummy, big and round. Inside here, the treasure's found. <coughs> Pots and pans hanging down is where the treasure can be. Scoob, like look at those groovy Chinese costumes. Let's go check them out. Good idea. You know, Scoob, I think we should put some of those clothes over there on you. They'd look hilarious. Kite making and flying date back as much as 2,500 years. Let's test your knowledge of Chinese culture. Choose the answer you think is correct, and we'll see how you do. Select the answer you think is right from the list there. When you've answered all the questions, we'll see how you've done. What interesting thing does Chef Zhu have in his restaurant? A. What kind of bird is standing in the pond near the bridge? What color is the Mystery Ink case book? A. Red. What job does Torrance Walker do? A. He is a tourist. B. He is a sub. What pet did Emperor Zhu have? A. What is Professor Liu's Chinese name? A. Hui Fang. B. What is the name of Clara's lantern shop? A. Lucky lanterns. B. What is the color of the horse in the Emperor's treasure room? What is being celebrated at the palace? A. Moon festival. B. The what color are firecrackers? Excellent detective work, Super Sleuth. You got 8 out of 10 questions correct. You've earned a certificate. If you have a printer connected, you may print your certificate by clicking the print button. 
I think we should check out that lantern shop. Maybe it'll shed some light on this dragon debacle. Good idea, Freddy. Those lanterns sure are pretty. Okay, then. Let's split up. Daphne and I will go to the lantern shop while you guys keep an eye out for the stone dragon. Like the only thing I'm keeping an eye out for is a bologna hoagie with chocolate sauce and deep fried clam strips. Yum, yum. Oh, customers. I didn't expect anyone here yet. And the display area is such a mess. Oh, I am so disappointed. Gosh, what's wrong? If you don't mind me asking. I'm sure I don't know, Fred. The only thing that makes me that upset is a bad haircut. Or a bad manicure. No, no, no. It's none of those things. My name is Li Hui Fang, but my friends call me Clara. I was setting up my shop for the New Year's celebration when the stone dragon knocked everything over. The stone dragon? Yes. These lanterns are hard to make, and this is my busiest time of the year. If I don't sell enough of them, I may have to close my shop. Just leave it to us, Miss Lee. We'll take care of the mess. Right, Freddy? Sure, Daph. Maybe we can find a few clues while we're cleaning up. Business will... Oh, no. How am I ever going to clear up this mess in time? The Festival of the Lanterns is one of the most joyous days on the Chinese calendar. Many thanks for your help. There is much to do, as you can see. The lanterns must be arranged in a special way, so please follow the instructions on the scroll to understand how they should be placed. Clara has a list of instructions over there. We'd better read them if we... Again, it has to be just right. If we're really hmm, that one didn't look quite right, Freddy. Look at Clara's directions again. Clara. Fred, I think we should perfect. Blue. Oh, 
Oh, that's just perfect. Thank you both very much for your help. I just hope that stone dragon doesn't return to finish what it started. We'll be glad to help again if you need us. You're very sweet. Thank you. Oh, and here, I found something earlier. I wonder if you might find it useful. Thanks. Hey, Daphne, it could be a clue. We should take this back to the gang and see what they make of it. If one of our suspects matches every clue, then that suspect must be our dragon. Material from a dragon costume. Someone has been making dragon costumes. Now we just need to find out who it is. Cla Clara. New Year is her busiest time. Like wow, Scoob, do you smell food? Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we have time for a quick snack. You two go off and get something to eat. We'll stay here and look for clues. We'll be right back after we found some cloodles. If noodles. Noodles? Yum, yum. Hello, gentlemen. Gong hip hop choy. Like, I don't know what that is, but I sure hope it comes with fries. <laughs> you are very funny. Gong hip hop choy means Happy New Year in Chinese. My name is Ju Rong Ming, but my friends just call me Hao. May I help you? We sure hope so. We'll take 15 bowls of the noodle of the day. <laughs> Good point. And better make it 16. And we'll need some chocolate sauce and anchovy paste on the side. <laughs> I have a lot of takeout orders. I think maybe people are afraid to leave their houses because of the stone dragon. I'm sorry, I haven't got time to cook you food right now. Before you start, Look at the recipe. Use the measuring tool to pick up the ingredients and throw them in the wok. You may have to use different size measuring tools to get the right amount. When you're sure the ingredients are right, turn on the stove and cook it and see how it turned out. If you're not sure or you mess up, you can clean the wok and try again. First order coming up. Okay, Scoob, this recipe needs, uh, let me see. One cup of oyster sauce. One and a half cups of soy sauce. Oyster sauce. One cup oyster sauce. Half a cup. Rice. Soy sauce. One cup. Soy sauce. Half a cup. Half a tablespoon. Teaspoon. Rice. Tofu. Chili. Garlic. Chili. Half a tablespoon. Teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Chili. Four 
quart and a half cups of tofu. Half as much garlic as chili. Garlic. Half a teaspoon. Teaspoon garlic. Half a teaspoon. Tofu. One cup. Tofu. Half a... Three and a half cups of rice. One cup rice. Half a... Cook. Boom. Mmm, yummy. That tastes great. All we need now is a little mayonnaise with anchovies. <laughs> One more order coming up. Right, school bowl pal. The ingredients for this recipe are eight and a half cups of noodles, one and a half cups of onion, twice as much broccoli as onion, two and a half cups of bok choy, four teaspoons of oyster sauce, half as much garlic as oyster sauce, eight and a half cups of noodles, two cups noodles. Half a cup. One and a half cups of onion. Garlic. Onion. Onion. Twice as much broccoli as onion. Broccoli. Two cups. Broccoli. Half a cup. Two and a half cups of bok choy. Bok choy. Two cups. Bok choy. Half a cup. Four teaspoons of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Half a tablespoon. Teaspoon. Oyster sauce. Garlic. Cook. Boom. Mmm, yummy. That tastes great. All we need now is a little butterscotch. <laughs> Another order coming up! For this recipe, Scooby-Doo, we need one cup of rice, two and a half cups of green onions, one and a half cups of bok choy, three and a half cups of shrimp, one and a half tablespoons of garlic, twice as much chili as garlic, one cup of rice, one cup Rice. Two and a half cups of green onions. Green onions. Green onions. Half a cup. One and a half cups of bok choy. Bok choy. One cup bok choy. Half a cup. Three and a half cups of shrimp. One cup shrimp. Half a cup. One and a half tablespoons of garlic. Half a tablespoon. Teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Half a tablespoon. Garlic. Garlic. Twice as much chili as garlic. Ch 
Chili. Chili. Cook. Boom. Mmm, yummy. That tastes great. All we need now is a little chocolate sauce. <laughs> Here's the last order for now. Okay, Scoob, this recipe needs, um, let me see, twice as much rice as bean sprouts, two and a half cups of bean sprouts, one and a half cups of bamboo shoots, four tablespoons of soy sauce, three and a half teaspoons of ginger, two and a half teaspoons of garlic. If we put everything in that we think need, two and a half cups of bean sprouts. Two cups, bean sprouts, bean sprouts, half a cup, rice, two cups, rice, half a one and a half cups of bamboo shoots, bamboo shoots, bamboo shoots. Four tablespoons of soy sauce. Tablespoon. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Three and a half teaspoons of ginger. Half a tablespoon. Teaspoon. Ginger. Ginger. Half a teaspoon. Two and a half teaspoons of garlic. Garlic. Teaspoon. Garlic. Half a teaspoon. Cook. Boom. Mmm, yummy. That tastes great. All we need now is a little peanut butter. Thank you, gentlemen, most kindly for your assistance. And since you did so well tasting and testing the food, I think I have honored my side of the bargain, too, hey? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I found something a short while ago which I thought you might find useful. Scoob, it may be a clue. We should take it back to the gang. We'll need all five clues to get to the bottom of this mystery. Then we'd better keep looking. A list of scary decorations. Whoever made this list was obviously trying to scare people. But who could it be? Howard... His interest in Chinese cuisine is almost an obsession. Luckily, he can remember all his recipes. As his... Clara... Clara Lee makes lanterns and sells crafts. The dragon seems to be taking an interest in her store. She does crafts even at home. A list of scary decorations. Whoever made this list was obviously trying to scare people. But who could it be? Sculptures of animals appear in... Many of them were believed to have a strong spiritual influence over people. Uh-uh. Like there's no way we're going in there, man. It's too scary. You won't get us going in there. What if we run into the stone dragon? Stone dragon? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Would you change your mind for three Scooby Snacks? A Scooby Snack? It looks like there's still a bunch of Scooby Snacks to gather up, Scooby. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Restaurant mule on the wall hides the most wonderful treasure of all. China has always had strong military power. Looks like we'll have to find another way into the palace. Cut! Cut! Excuse me, you're in my shot. Who are you? My name is Cameron Flick. Please, I'm making a movie here. A movie? Really? Do you need extras? I know I have my headshot in here somewhere. Save it. I make documentaries, and I'm here to film a special about the underground palace. A documentary filmmaker? Jeez, that's really cool. Trust me, it's a lot of work, and so far I haven't exactly packed the theaters. But if I can just get a picture of that stone dragon, now that sure would change things. That way is blocked. We should try to find another way into the palace. I've just got to get that shot. You won't get us going in there. What if we run into the stone dragon? Stone dragon? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Would you... going guys I think you found a clue it looks like the patterns on this wall might reveal a secret if we arrange the bricks just right like no way Velma that thing nearly got Scooby's tail we're keeping a safe distance yeah what a bunch of scaredy cats Jinkies. see always listen to the inner scaredy cat <laughs> that's what I say okay then since we can Get close to the wall. How about we try using these? Hmm. Well, Scooby, I think it's some sort of code. You'll need to make sure the bricks that are next to each other have something in common. Say color or shape or both. Blue. 
Blue flower. Yellow fl- Blue flower. I think we're nearly there. Red cloud. Red cloud. Red Sun A great emperor brought order to chaos, but you mere mortals must light your own path through darkness and confusion. Thanks for finding another entrance into the palace. Trust me, if it were up to us, we'd only be finding exits. Yeah, exits. Well, I'm off to shoot the stone dragon. With my camera, that is. Here's something for you. Thanks very much. Hey, gang. This looks like a clue. I think we better see what it means. Once we place this clue, we'll be one step closer to solving this mystery. Handwritten Chinese notes. The person that wrote this note prefers to write in Chinese. Camera. Cameron. How are Let's move, gang. Howard you? Chef, chef. <laughs> Main Mix Palace Garden.
We can't get through there. Uh-uh. Like there's no way we're going in there, man. It's too scary. You won't get us going in there. What if we run into the... This is amazing. Emperor Zhu reigned over a dynasty that stretched thousands of miles while the rest of the world was just taking its first steps. I know some steps I'd like to take, like any that lead out of here. Yeah. Relax, you two. This is exciting. We're among the first people to walk down these stairs in centuries. People, maybe, but stone dragons? Looks like they have the run of the place. Oh, here we are. The antechamber to the Emperor's treasure room. Whoa! Roll! Whoa! Roll! Whoa! Okay, okay. I could see this going on for a while. Who are you? My name is Torrance Walker, tour guide. It's most awesome to meet you all. Do you lead tours down here? I'm supposed to, but I got kind of lost. Whoa, it was like totally dark and scary in there, man. Dude, you won't tell my boss, will you? They're always on my case. Don't worry. The only case we want to solve is the one of the stone dragon. Thanks. And watch yourselves down here. The passages are like one giant Harley maze. If I were you, I would like totally not go through that doorway. Like we hear you, man. Jinkies, Shaggy, remember the statue's riddle? Light your way through darkness and confusion to find the way. Sounds like finding your way through a maze. Sure sounds confusing to me. And me. Hmm, I bet a maze of passageways would be a great place to hide. Come on, gang. Whenever we're warned to stay out of somewhere, that's the very next place we go. I don't get it. Me neither. Sheesh. Anyway, later, dudes. Open window in courtyard outside. Surely a place for treasure to hide. <laughs> It looks like there's still a bunch of Scooby Snacks.
Ruh -ruh. Like no way are we exploring this creepy place. We're staying right here. Yeah. Would you change your mind for two Scooby Snacks? <laughs> like you betcha. Yeah, Scooby Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Knock, knock. My knock has woken men and emperors alike. To send them all back to sleep, a soothing sound of melody and rhythm would surely calm the soul. Whoa! Look out, gang! First a stone dragon, and now a man-eating tiger? And dog-eating! Yeah, like sorry, gang, but that's our cue to exit. Scoob and I'll meet you back at the airport. Wait a minute. I see what's going on here. They're trying to recreate a scene for the tour about the Emperor's pet tiger. Tiger? Who has a pet tiger? Why couldn't the Emperor have a pet goldfish? Yeah, I guess they thought it would add authenticity. Wow, it sure is authentically angry. How do you think we get past him? Jinkies! Remember the clue we got when we used the knocker on the door to this room? It said that a soothing melody and rhythm calmed his soul. Maybe we can find a tune to calm the tiger, too. Then it's up to us to play some soothing tunes. I'll play some songs from my guidebook CD, and then we'll all play the instruments. We'll need to play each song exactly the same way it sounds on the CD. Scooby can keep time. I think between us we can play all the instruments here. Right, guys? I can play the Deezer and the Shen. I can play the Urhu and the Peepaw. Like I can play the gong and the bongo. Gong, bongo, right. And I can play the shung and the swana. Hmm. We'll need to play the instruments in the right order. So if we're not standing in the right spots to copy the tune, we'll just switch. Let's go for it. Shung. We need to choose instruments and music notes and then shin. Bungo. Bungo. Pipa. Shung. Let's hear that CD again, Velma. We need to listen carefully to the. Remember. Remember. We all need to be playing an instrument for the Pipa. Pipa. I don't know how to play that instrument. Let's hear that CD again. Remember. We've We need Remember. Arho. 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 Shung. We all need to be playing an instrument for this to work. Like Velma that time. Shung. to be
Bye. I think the music notes were in the wrong order. Oh boy, that tiger sure is angry. Music notes. Wow. 
like that was a groovy rhythm. Check him out, Scoob. The tiger's getting sleepier. Gong. Gong. I can't play that one, but Shaggy can. Like I sure can. Let's switch. We all need to be playing an instrument. We one up. We all need to. Good work, gang. That sounded great. Arho. Like Fred can play this instrument. I sure can. Let's switch. notes were in the wrong order. I think the music notes were in the... Definitely working. I'd say the tiger is ready for a nap. Giza. 
Daphne can play this in. Peepaw. Bungle. Swana. That sounded pretty good to me. Upon the bridge across the stream, find the treasure that is unseen. Silk has been produced in China for more than 3,000 years. <laughs> Finally! I've been waiting here for hours! And you are? Professor Liu Kang Wei. My American colleagues call me Clarence Lou. Aren't you here to rescue me? Like we were hoping you were here to rescue us. And you have seen the stone dragon too? Seen him, smelled him. That is one stone dragon who could use a bath. We, you. you. Well, I was restoring some precious artifacts when the stone dragon locked me in here. How awful. Not really. Usually, I only teach history. But that stone dragon is history. Like the only thing we want to discover is a way out of this kooky catacomb. Yeah. Well, I suppose I should give you kids something for opening this door for me. Hey, gang, it might be a clue. Let's see if it can help us solve this mystery. Great job, gang. We got another clue. Now let's see where it goes. Men's cologne. <laughs> Velma would say it smells like a mystery. We'd better keep a sharp Short eye out for more clues. He collects decorative chopsticks. He thinks the stone dragon is history in the making. Clara Lee. Clara Lee. Lantern seller. Howard. Torrance Walker. Howard. Howard. Torrance Walker. I think I like this tiger a whole lot better when he's sleeping. And now that he's asleep, I guess we can play just about anything we like. Look at this amazing carved doorway. Come get you. Stay right where you are. I'm not going anywhere. It's really creepy in here. Hey, Daphne, are you there? Here, I brought you some light. I think our dragon is using these underground passageways to get around unnoticed. Let's look for clues. Okay, but I sure hope the battery in that thing holds out. Don't worry, Daphne. I rigged it myself from instructions in my favorite magazine. Pop her lamp and flashlight. Well, okay, Freddy. Come on, 
There's got to be some clues around here somewhere. No, the stone dragon! Look out, Fred! Phew, that was close. Let's try and find our way out again. If we listen closely, we might hear the stone dragon as it approaches. was, but we still need to find the way out of here. smell Chinese food in China what a surprise <laughs> so it's, it's the stone dragon right oh please that's not the stone dragon jinkies it's a secret passageway hi guys gosh we didn't expect to see you here it sure was creepy down there guess we can't go back that way now let's organize each clue we collect if a clue matches a suspect, we can mark it under his or her picture to help us remember. Great idea, Velma. We can check each clue against the suspects in the casebook. If one of our suspects matches every clue, then that suspect must be our dragon. This sure is tricky. A container of cooking spices. Like whoever dropped this has used it for cooking recently. Not you, Scoob. <laughs> He surfs in his spare time. Yeah. 
Professor Clip. He collects decorative chopsticks. We have to look at the clip. If one of our sub handwritten Chinese notes. A list of scary decorations. Whoever. Luckily, he can remember all his recipes. And Professor. Professor Clarence Liu is this sure is material from a dragon costume. Someone has been making dragon costumes. Now we just need to find out who it is. Howard Zhu, chef. Professor Clarence Liu, professor of China. Well, we sure have collected a lot of clues. And I think I have this mystery just about figured out. All that's left is to find out who's behind this by capturing that stone dragon. And I've got a plan. It involves a complex series of pulleys, levers, and an ornate statue as a counterbalance. Which trap the dragon in the spooky corridors underneath the palace. It's a real maze down there. Well, if you want to do it the easy way. Good idea, guys. There are only two ways out of those corridors. We'll wait at one end, and Shaggy and Scooby can flush him out from the other. You know, I really like that plan. Right up until the part where Scooby and I get involved. Yeah, red news. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Uh-uh. No way. Two Scooby snacks? Throw in a couple of bowls of those noodles, and you got yourself a deal. How did I know you were going to say that? Oh, boy. Let's get to it. Clara Lee, lantern seller. If one of who do you think is behind this mystery of the spooky? I still think my idea would have been better, but looks like the stone dragon isn't going anywhere. So let's see who's behind all this. Howard Zhu. Oh yes. It was Howard Zhu, all right, and here's why he did it. Howard Zhu is a direct descendant of Emperor Zhu. He thinks it's disrespectful to his ancient ancestor's memory to turn his burial place into a tourist attraction. So he cooked up the stone dragon to scare everyone away. Yes, it was me. And I would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for you meddling kids and that crummy canine. Crummy? Great work, everyone. The authorities will take it from here, and we can get on with the celebration, knowing that we solved yet another mystery. Oh, no. Sorry about the noodles, guys. It's a shame they got ruined. Hmm. Ruined? They're not ruined, Velma. They're delicious. Yeah, delicious. They're not really gonna... I think they are. Don't turn around. You don't want to know. Scooby dooby doo! <laughs> well, it looks like we've successfully wrapped up another mystifying mystery. We sure did. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to go somewhere interesting without being chased by ghosts or monsters? I'm not sure what you mean. Like, man, you can't be serious. Haven't you noticed that every place we go, creepy stuff always happens? Really? The ice monster when we went skiing. The Civil War ghosts in New Orleans. The worm monster in Baja. Wow, you guys are right. We have run into a lot of monsters. I just never thought about it before. Well, I think it's quite a mystery. It's a mystery to me why I'm always hungry. Me too. I think it's because you guys are either scared or running away. There's a lot of nervous energy there, and it needs constant feeding. It needs feeding now for sure. I ate about a half an hour ago, and I'm already hungry again. Half an hour? That's got to be a record. Normally, it's only about five minutes. Have you gotten any Scooby snacks or noodles hidden behind your back like you did earlier? No, sorry. This is just the credit sequence. I definitely saw an El Seiko pancake house on the way here. Pancakes? 
That's a groovy idea. Yeah, groovy. Gosh, who'd have thought they'd have a branch way out here? Like me. I love that place. And they have 172 branches, to be exact. Leave it to Shaggy to know something like that. Sure, there's one in Appleton, one in Bradenton, one in Carlsbad. Oh, we get the point. Well, I'd sure love a stack of pancakes dripping with huckleberry syrup and meatballs. About that never being able to go anywhere nice without being attacked by glowing green monsters or things with tentacles or whatever, does anyone else feel that's a bit odd? Not me. I always relish a good mystery. Relish? Mmm. Mustard pickles, all topped off on an eggplant caramel burger. Delicious. Yum yum. Sounds good. I guess it's okay, as long as there's plenty to eat. What's okay, Shaggy? Standing here waiting for the credits to roll past. Well, at least we're not being chased by ghosts. Right, Daphne? And it's not in the least bit spooky. Although it is a bit spooky out there. Look at all those people looking at us. Smile and act normal. I think we're being watched. Or some special fried rice with perhaps a side of chocolate anchovy sauce. I have nothing, Shag. How about asking them? Scooby snacks? Crackers with shrimp? Pastrami, mayonnaise, Swiss cheese, pickles and butterscotch sauce. You do? Groovy. We'll be round in a minute. Whoa, boys. You can't just go around inviting yourselves over to people's houses for snacks. Why not? Anyway, who said anything about snacks? I was thinking more like dinner. Yeah, dinner. You guys. You know what? I think the credits are just about finished. I guess we'll have to go hungry then. Oh. Like I said, there's one of those pancake houses just down the road. We'll go there afterwards. Daphne's buying. Are you kidding me? I've seen Shaggy and Scooby eat. I don't think my credit card has a high enough limit. So we'll see everybody next time, right? We, we sure, sure will. Bye-bye, then. Scooby-dooby-doo.